What up, what up, what up? It's your boy JB coming right back at you, man. Welcome back to the channel. Is Dion too trustworthy? Is Dion too trustworthy? Man, by now y'all have seen the article about uh, Dion's assistant coach, uh, coach, uh, coach Riley, Trevor Riley, special teams coach. His resignation letter got into the hands of Sports Illustrated. And now we realize that he's trying to get NIL money and only getting paid 90000 a year. And guys, I got to tell you, if you follow well off media, reach the people media and the pregame show, man, let me tell you this, guys, these hustlers and these fake people, they ain't going to be able to tarry long, right? And, and I hate to use that biblical word, but Dion is a big God guy. So one of the things you're going to find, guys, is the, the, the well off media I'm realizing right now that's more so to protect Dion and expose these people who don't have the right intentions around him, right? So you got this guy, you got this guy who was prominent on well-off media. Dion said that he could wear jeans when nobody else could wear jeans. This dude was getting preferential treatment. Well, maybe we know why now, but at the end of the day, is Dion realizing that his problem is not his coaching. His problem is he's trusting people who turn out to be snakes in the grass. Now, if it wasn't for well-off media, reach the people media and the pregame show, and the spotlight being on those programs, these guys would be able to destroy him from within. But not now, because now they get exposed, and not everybody. This story didn't hurt Coach Prime. This story didn't hurt Coach Prime. It didn't hurt Colorado. It exposed a snake. Guys, the roaches scatter when the lights come on. This man had to cancel. This man quit and was found in Hawaii because now you are, you are, if you operate outside of the system, if you go on rogue, you can't stay when there's cameras everywhere. I'm surprised he lasted this long, guys. And guess what? If you were working deals for yourself, but using Coach Prime's name, and everybody realized that you didn't have a relationship with Coach Prime as you think you did. Now your credibility is shot. Now Dion got a problem on his hands because there's a lot of people from within who want to see him fall. Just like y'all see these cats who go to the transfer portal and they want, and now they talking all that trash. But if you watch well off media, reach the people in the pregame show, they talking completely different. And guys, once it becomes visible that you one way in front of the camera, but another way behind the scenes, Dion probably has more people in that building who hate him and hoping he, he loses. And if he didn't overturn his coaching staff, and that's what I like about the transfer portal, get people out of there. Keep having competition. Because if he didn't have competition, and if he didn't have these relationships with all these NFL guys, Dion would have been out of there last year. Guys, now I'll say this. I end my videos with Dion the same way. Dion got to win this year. But it's hard to win when you got snakes like this. It's hard to win when you got wolves in sheep clothing, making making you think that they wanna see you win, but the whole time, whole time backstabbing you, right? A lot of y'all don't understand, Dion getting stabbed in the back and getting stabbed in the front. And so when I see these people on well-off media now, and I see the ones who praising him the most, when I see the ones who praising him the most, those are the ones I'm concerned about. When I see the ones smiling in his face, those are the ones I'm concerned about. But it's unfortunate that this happened. We know NIL is a part of the, of, the, of, the, of the platform now, part of the landscape of college football. The whole Saudi thing, the whole Mormon thing, all this kind of stuff, guys. I hate to see this attached to Dion, but Dion got to realize now that thank God for well-off media, the pregame show, and reach the people because that's what's exposing these people at the level that it is because otherwise people will say Dion don't have no control over his program. But sometimes you got to let a snake get out the garden on his own. And that's what this guy did, man. Y'all get down in the comment section. What do y'all think about this whole assistant coach pulling this on Dion and Dion being associated with this, man? Is Jeff crazy or is Jeff owning something? If you hadn't already, mash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notifications. And until next time, I'm going to holler.